Hello and welcome. It's the weekend. And this is the newspaper review here on TAV TV, where we analyze and dissect trending and catchy headlines every day. I am Obed Jerry, your host for today. And with me here is the football AI, Econ Bright. Nice to meet you, bro. Oh, you're welcome. It's good to have you on this show again. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. It's, um, I'm happy to be here. Um, and like you said, it's the weekend. Exactly. It's, it's one time of the of the week that everybody look out for where we go back home tend Rest. to relax enjoy um weekend especially football. the enjoyment part yeah enjoy weekend football people that wants to go out connect with family um family go on um weekend um, vacation just go out um, 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 sightseeing and all of that and also with everything happening in the country with the whole hustle and bustle during the week of hustle uh, we, we tend to use the weekend to rest and probably on sunday we start off again going to church and saying a big thank you to God for keeping us alive, being among the living, and also try to keep our, our mind our ahead minds of for, the next for, week. The, for the next week. So exactly. it's, a, it's a good one to, to be here today and talking about um, things happening in Nigeria and on the front pages of the newspaper. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. You two can also be a part of this show. Do well to subscribe. Turn on the notification button. Follow us across all our social media handles so that when we drop videos like this, you get to see it firsthand. All right. Without wasting much of our time, we'll move on to the first newspaper of the day. Today being 8th day of December 2023. We'll be looking at the Daily Sun newspaper. We see at the top story here, NJC Sachs Oshun State Judge sets up panel to investigate others. Details of this story is found on page 26 of the Daily Sun newspaper. FG pounces on OPE, Palm Pay orders as NIBSS stops non-deposit banks from phone transfer channel. Substory under that reads, says PSSPS, SA is not permitted to hold customers' phones. We see at the bottom story here, no plan to abduct MFLA, says EFCC DSS NCS. Details of this story is found on page 5 of the Daily Sun newspaper. MFLA has really gone through a lot in the hands of um, the EFCC and the DSS custody in this um, recent times. Yeah, so many things have been happening to him right after he was um, out as the governor of the, the CDN. CDN. He has been facing back-to-back -back encounter and now he, will, he has been jailed. And we heard that the bill, we don't expect him to pull out that kind of money. Exactly. So a whole lot of things has been happening around um, um, the former governor of the CBN. So we just hope everything is being resolved and if he's being found guilty of whatever charges is being placed against him, then that's how we, we start to know that, yes, due sentence should be passed and whatever thing that happens or comes next, Nigeria will be able to see that, yes, maybe the present government is working in terms of fighting corruption because that's one of the bases and one of the things that Nigerians are actually cramming for. Exactly. Still on the newspaper, it reads here, three operatives injured as NDLEA drug cartel clash in Edo Forest. Details of the story is found on page five of the Daily Sun newspaper. Ebony shuts down five fake hospitals, uncovers 107 quacks. Details of the story is found on page 28 of the Daily Sun newspaper. We see at the, uh, the top story here reads, War over VP's 15 billionaire residence. Sub story under that reads, Wiki Mox Obi dares protesters. LP insists project wait wasteful, insensitive. Details of the story is found on the page six of the Daily Sun newspaper. I feel like um, this, this plan, this um, budget is not um, fit for the economy at this time. Well, well, looking at looking at the newspaper today, when I saw that and I and I read through it, I was I, I wouldn't want to say if I was sad or if I was overwhelmed with everything that's happening in Nigeria at this point in time. Okay, let's just say like more like you were confused yeah, and not knowing why or how it's happening. Truth is, truth is coming coming to this time, Nigeria is sinking down the drain every day that goes by. We are going through one phase of government and the way they disburse funds, the way they budget, they, they draft out their budget and what they want to use these funds for. We come out to cry that the 2023-2024 budget is hilarious. Exactly. And we, we are cr crying as a country that we don't have money and we are going outside to borrow funds just to fund um, this particular budget, over $27 trillion, um, if I'm not mistaken, or, or thereabout. Now, 
coming into this one, I, I read through the papers and I went back and I read the the tweet from um, the from the Labour, Labour Party, Party presidential, uh, presidential candidate, 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 candidate 2023 election, where the proposal for the renovation of the house came up. Now, prior to this time, this project was brought in during the Good Luck Billy Jonathan's era. Exactly. And as at then, the project was said to cost seven billion. But due and to having noting that the economy was better before then. No, yeah, it was better now. No, it was better then, then rather. Now coming into this time, we see that due to the rise of pro uh, materials in, mm -hmm. in the market, due to inflation and all of that, so many um, factors coming into play at, at this time, we tend to notice that the price of the renovation moved from seven billion to 15 billion triple plus now that's one aspect of it that nigerians are looking at now the second aspect that maybe nigerians do not know we are also aware that even in that same project that we are looking at that we um, the 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 minister of fct was clamoring for in our budget we have a renovation of the vice president's house towards 2.3 billion if i'm not mistaken the president the vice presidential villa and even another one in Lagos of that same amount. So in, in all calculation, you're looking about 20 billion plus for, for only one person. For, for just one person. Now, that is not a bad idea. Making our edifice or where we receive our visitors coming into the country a good one, just like the uh, FCT minister said. But is that the priority of Nigerians exactly. at this point in time? Exactly. Knowing that Nigerians in general are going through hardship. People are crying of poverty. The poverty rate is super high and is extreme, more than any point at this time. And if I'm not mistaken, Nigeria is one of the countries that has the highest percentage rate when it comes to poverty. So why are you using such amount of money for, to, such things. for, for something that is not even that important? Looking at we are the people that voted you into power, and the best thing that you think you can do is to enrich yourself and make your house a kind of um, edifice for, for tourists and all of that. When you know the how the current state of the house is not even is not even in a bad way. Yeah. It's not in a bad condition. Now now come looking at the news in, in entirety. Now Wike is saying that he, he doesn't care about what people are saying. And I feel like sorry to interrupt you, Wike is, is calling the shots in the wrong way. He's making it look like um it's um uh, authoritative um pattern. Yeah I, I wouldn't know he, he Every, it, it can never be authoritative because it's putting it out to the house. So it's up to the, the Senate to either cut down the, the bill, the bill or, approve or, or approve it. So for me, it's this is a done deal matter. Kick it out. It's not something to review. It's not even something about. to review. Just kick it out. Kick it out, kick it out of, of whatever thing they are bringing up to the table. We don't need it. Nigerians don't need it. We are suffering. Why not use this money? to invest, create more wealth, create employment for people, give people hope. But this is December and we are looking at and we know that definitely the cost of living is going to go up and we don't and know. And things will get harder by definitely, January. Definitely, definitely. Now, this project that they are looking at, it's said to come to light in May 29. They are already planned. Even before we came into office, they've made, uh, they, they've made preparations for this. So this is not something that started today but this is not what we want as nigeria this is not what we are clamoring for this is not the, for the benefit of the general public the general citizens of nigeria you cannot tend to favor just one person just, one just person because you want to at the expense of the, of, of, of the majority of, yes and you want to look have this good face and cordial relationship with the vice president i don't know what his plans is if he has um, an ulterior motive maybe after his tenure as the fct minister you also have further plans to become the president or the vice very possible yeah so i feel this is for him a a a a, a, a kind of i i i i I, 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 I weep for nigerians because after this, I believe there's more things that are going to come to light. Especially if we ignore year. this and we let it be. Yeah, we, we, this is not what we want as Nigerians. And just like the Labour Labour Party um, presidential candidate said, it is unnecessary, not needed at this point. Nigerians are in poverty. This is the time where you tend to create wealth for people. And even in his speech, he said that 
um, coming into this one that Nigerians lead leaders that are selfless, that are coming into power just to serve the people and not to amass and enrich themselves with the wealth of the nation. And if we want to see a Nigerian that we hope for, that we dream for, that we think should be better in years to come, this is not the kind of politicians that this we need. Poli and, and I put it out to Nigerian citizens out there, people that voted this current government, um, government into power. We are all suffering it, no doubt. But this is like an eye opener to them that their interest is definitely not at that. The five thousand naira or the two thousand naira that they got as tips to to vote for this current party. It's finished, I think, the next day. It, <laughs> went, it didn't get and and now and now we are crying. We are crying. Nigerians are crying that things are hard. Every every morning you wake up and the price of things are heating up are going up. Exactly. And this is not what we need. We, we pray that the, the Senate just kick this off their table and tell them that no, this is not going to happen. And we know we heard we also heard that reading this, we also heard that there is a protest going on exactly in, in, in Abuja based on this current and and um, the F City Minister says he dares protesters to go ahead and protest. So what are you saying? What are you are, are we the citizens? Are our voice not important? Don't we have say? No, we're saying that um, democracy, uh, that we have rights to, to speak, speak, say our minds, we have the rights to, to speak, to air our views. That's democracy. But it's up to him to decide whatever he wants to do, which for me is kind of autocratic in, in a kind of way. But that is not what we need in our leaders to come and portray for us as Nigerians, in quote. Exactly. So for me, the the, the whole... 15 billion naira, whatever renovation it's plan. Not it's not even supposed it's not to relevant come out to light. It's not supposed to, to come out to the hearing of the people. When you know the current state the people are going through, Definitely. you cannot be starving and telling another, and that same person to help you support a budget that would benefit only one, one person, person at the detriment of over 200 million we people. We have so many things that Nigerians need to fix. We have the health sector, we have the education sector, we, we have, have the, the cultural sector that is dying every day. We have the insecurity sector, like this, the exactly. insecurity that is killing people we ha we see people being kidnapped every day boko haram terrorists the north is 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 a mess why not channel that to improve them okay yeah. okay after the error that was made by um the nigerian army that um took lives of how many over 100 people one of their um, reasons was that they need infrastructures their weapons are um, diminishing are old and they need updates. Why isn't this money channeled to improve security at that angle to help them get more infrastructures and weapons that will help them advance in securing lives? Uh, like I always say, the the uh, uh, the, Niger the problem of Nigerian government and its politician is not the fact that we don't have money or the resources to make our country better, but what we suffer both as the, the, the Nigerian citizen and the government at large, is the fact that we are just lavish spenders. You get, we are lavish exactly. spenders, spending lavishly and not wisely. And until Nigeria tends to sit back and look at what is necessary, what is priority, instead of spending lavishly, you are not going to get better as the years come by. All right, thank you very much. Um, we have to move away from that story and look into the next newspaper for the day. We'll be looking at the Daily Trust newspaper. It's leading excitement as $20 billion Dangote refinery receives screwed. Finally, the, uh, the Dangote refinery is up and working. Now we are waiting to see the outcome. If the price of uh, petrol, petrol and all that will come down. Yeah, this is this is what Nigerians are clamoring for. Positive information yeah. that will brighten our day. Our day and give us the smile. But let's not come and see that everything turns out to be a monopoly kind of business. Where that is the fear of the majority. The price of petrol and all of that. So, exactly. But uh, at most, I feel like the price of um, fuel and other um 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 fuel products is going to is going to reduce so we hope for that coming come next year as the refinery has started running we hope for better prices in, exactly in, in fuel products exactly right still on the newspapers the banner headline here reads kaduna killing is not a mistake says gumi sub story under that says army attack against air force advice says sources officers grumble over lack of synergy between service We've learned our lessons. Our operations remain joint, DHQ says. Tinubu vows to punish anyone found culpable. 
this is actually what we want to hear. The army is a strong structure. Yeah. It's, it's not just an ordinary and um, paramilitary unit. It's a full-time military unit. And they go for trainings and all that. So there are some mistakes that are not supposed to happen. Yeah, the, the, the truth of the matter is that they have come out to say that it's due to some um, lack of communication or something like that. And also the president has also come out to vow that people that are um, involved in this, the corporate or whoever that carried out this act is going to face punishment. So that is the news Nigerians want to hear. And we hope that the families that were lost, their relatives would be compensated. In exactly, one, because one uh, there was the a other. woman, there was a woman that was saying she lost over 30 of her um, family members. Yeah, we and for a fact, we know that money is not going to bring them back. <laughs> exactly. But at the same time, this money is supposed to, in a way, um, give them hope. Give them hope for a better tomorrow, for them to start up their life over again. Fix one or two. Because things. most of these persons that died are the breadwinners of yeah, their family. Yeah, most people lost their properties and, and other things. So they need to get back on their feet, maybe business-wise, health-wise, and, and otherwise. Exactly. Still on the newspaper, the bottom headline here reads, more than 80% of Gaza's population displaced. This stage of the story is found on page 5 of the Daily Trust newspaper. Civil defense yet to produce media trust radio tower. Shields in dictated operatives. Details of the story is found on page 2 of the Daily Trust newspaper. Gunmen kidnap Nasarawa Varsity students. Details of the story is found on page 23 of the Daily Trust newspaper. We, are, we were just talking about a um, few days ago where um, and the parents of um, core members that were kidnapped during the August time when they were on their way to camp. They, are, they were pleading with the um, federal government to help them raise up the ransom of 70 million era. Yeah, I, I saw that story and this is the same thing we are talking about even in the last story, um, the last newspaper that we read that we had, um, money that is supposed to be channeled to curb um, some certain areas of Nigeria is being used for things that are not necessary. Displaced now, priorities. Displaced priorities, if that's the case. Now, the going to the Nasarawa Varsity case, we we heard that gunmen came around um, the Gunta, Gunpa area, if I'm not mistaken, that's yeah. the name of the place, Gunda or so. And we came around 7 p.m. and there was a, a spray and an outflow of, outshed of bullets in the air to scare residents and all of that so they, they could carry out their operation. But there was a quick response from the Natural Police, Lafia, that came around to chase these men out and they According to the news, they, uh, they ran into the bushes and they hid there for hours. Now, my, my, the question I asked myself, is it that when the police came to that environment, they did not scout the area, the area very well to know that these men were still around? But be that as it may, um, we heard that later at night, they came back to that very resident and went to a particular hotel and they kidnapped um, five varsity students, I think three guys and two females and all of that. That, the, the, that was the detail that came out of the news. But now the PRO of the Lafia Police Department is coming out to say that they are not sure of the numbers of students that, that were kidnapped. kidnapped. And secondly, these were people that were living off Campus. campuses, so they cannot tell if they were students or not, or if they were just residents. And or even if they are students or not, they are still human beings. They are still human beings and they are citizens there. So now their job is to safeguard the lives of and properties of citizens as, as, as it may be. Now, coming into this one, the, the people we are taking, and, and from the report, they say these people stayed for three hours carrying out this operation. What were the police, Nigerian police, no interruption, no interruption. doing at that point in time? Definitely, if if a gunshot is fired here, if it's I'm supposed to hear from miles away, but miles away you could tell. And this was not just one gunshot; this was a significant, rapid shot that were coming out um, simultaneously, and, and all of that. So definitely, the I feel like the the Lafia police and it's, it's, could, it's, could it's have heard even, about it. Sorry to interrupt you. It's even funny how you come to an environment where you know that um, some persons were about to be kidnapped when you are done with um, um, interrupting and helping out. You then leave. Why not stay around and safeguard yeah. that place for that moment for that at moment. least? Yeah, true, true. Be told. I thought like after the first um, encounter, there was supposed to be like a kind of patrol van that should exactly. have been kept there around to that monitor the, the, the whole happening and that, around that area, not just throughout the night, but subsequent days, let's say two, three, four days, exactly. as they can 
span out and check what's and happening confirm. yeah what's happening around get their intel and, and all of that now this truth is this is not even the first time that something has of, of this nature has it's been happening. happening in that particular area over the, the the semester they say that more than 15 students has been kidnapped and released so what's what's going on exactly what's going on i think this is and, something and the bandits are having it in mind like it's something they can do and always and go away yeah i think this is the time where uh, the nasara um, police station and uh, the, the lafia rather should come together the, the commissioner over there to come together and put it with all his um dpos they should work and try to stop this from continually happening now a a uh, one of the students that was kidnapped earlier that was released said that he was kidnapped with um, one other girl and two other guys, if I'm not mistaken. And his parents had to pay the sum of 500,000 naira for him to be released. So what, what are the government... What, what about the other students that do not have such amounts um, to pay? Funny them? enough, the, the, the PCMs that were kidnapped on their way to camp, they are still in custody up to today. What, exactly. what are the governments doing? What are the security measures that are being put in place? These are the things that we should be looking at. Health, sec health sector educational sector, security of, of, the, of, of the citizens. These are the things that Nigerians and the government should be spending money on, creating more jobs, creating more wealth avenue for its citizens, not using money to fund one and, what would I call it, on, on a particular house that tends to, you, you stay there for a particular four, five years, and you leave, that seat. And you leave that seat, and the next government come in and they say and they want to, to renovate, renovate. And, and all of that. No, this is not what we need. This is not what Nigerians are clamoring for. We need our security. We need our sanity. This is a very um, sensitive period where people go out, move about their business, and you, you're scared of even... Recently, I, I had a conversation with my, my friend from, from, from the university, and he said a few days ago that on his way back from work here in Port Harcourt, he was robbed. What, what is happening? How everywhere is so unsafe. Why? Why is this happening? Why can't I go out of my house in the morning and really, come back come in back one really. piece. I'm scared of the keke I'm going to enter if it's not, I'm not jumping into the arms of, of robbers. I'm scared of um, the boss if I'm not jumping into the hands of 419 and all of that. Scared of walking on the streets. Yeah, even in my house. So there's, there's no safety anywhere. And these are the things that the government should definitely tend to look at. Provide security for the people. Give the, the, the police force more orientation. They should go for more training and practices. More tactical jobs needs to be done. And if we don't get that correctly, I bet you we'll still be breeding more criminals day by day. And we, ordinary citizens will be suffering this exactly. old chaos and the mayhem that is happening in Nigeria. Exactly. All right, we'll go for a very quick commercial break. We'll come back we'll look at the last newspaper for the day. So stay tuned. Hey there. Are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further with our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Alright, welcome back from that very quick break. I must commend you for staying up to this time. This is to the newspaper review on Tap TV and without wasting much of our time, we look at the last newspaper for the day. We'll be looking at the Daily Independent newspaper and the headline here reads, Failed abduction, file contempt proceedings against EFCC, DSCC. DSS reps tell Emefele's lawyers. 2024 budget, FG to spend 6 billion naira on aerospace varsity, other disputed projects. State of the story is found on page 7 of Daily Independence newspaper. We see at the side story here reads, with 250 naira per meal, dogs feed better than prisoners, says Senate. Is it now they realize that um, dogs feed better than prisoners? Which Nigerian prisons treat prisoners well? So they don't. They not, nothing like that happens. Exactly. Nothing like that happens. We spend, we spend money. Like we know these people are criminals, but at the same time they are still citizens of. The they country. are still humans. Yeah, they are still humans. So you need to give them that truth. You see, uh, my dad would say that even if you, you beat a child, you draw him closer, and 
in the process of, of advising on all, on all of that, make him smile. And for exactly. these people in, in, in the correctional center, maybe food is one of the things that could actually yeah. make them happy. Food is their only priority <laughs> since they don't have liberty to move about yeah. and all that. All right, still on the newspaper here reads, Nas bemoans incessant near crash incidents, flight delays, diversion. Details of the story is found on page 7 of the Daily Independent newspaper. Three officers injured as NDLEA repels gunfire attack in Edo Forest. Details of this story is found on page 6 of the Daily Independent newspaper. We see at the bottom story here reads, anyone guilty of Kaduna village bombing will be punished, says Tunubu. And the main headline here reads, customers grown as bank ration cash ahead of Christmas. Sub story under that reads, Naira scarcity bites harder, ATMs, cash points run dry. What do you have to say about that since i know you and i will be affected with this because how do we get our christmas and um, and um, things to cook how do we transport from here to our various places well well first of all i want to tell nigerians in this festive season i the advice i have for you and i'm putting it out there whatever cash you need to sustain yourself in this month of december start from now and be gathering it start gathering it ahead because, of time because honestly when it gets to the period of 2021, 20, 2022, 20, 23, and Christmas itself, going down to the new year, you won't be able to even get even 1,000 naira from the ATM. Exactly. And banks wouldn't be opening as usual. So this is going to be like a whole lot of buzz happening all over the country. Now, we know for a fact, even prior to now, every festive period, we always have this scarcity of cash. And... Exactly. Even from the, the last judgment given by, by the Supreme Court that both the old currency and the new currency should be used. And we are hoping that there should be like a whole box of cash, cash going flow. around the, 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 the nation. But we find out that not, none of this is happening. Even in ATMs that we go to withdraw cash, sometimes you go and you find out that there is no money in the machine. Or sometimes you go and let's assume I'm a first bank user with my ATM going to Zenith Bank. The machine is being programmed not to pay me more than 5,000 naira. And when I go to my bank, I will draw 10,000 naira. And whoever from other banks coming to my bank to use the ATM machine is not going to get more than 5,000 naira. So how do you want Nigeria? The addition of cash yeah. that you own. Yeah, so how do you want Nigeria to survive at this point in time? And you go to the market where you want to get stuff. These market women, most of them do not have... Okay, let's say they have bank account, but do they receive transfer? Exactly. Not all of them. Do they? And not how many all of, of them, them? How many of them would be patient to wait for your transfer to reflect that's, the account? That's another problem that we how have. How much product do you want to buy for you to even make a transfer? You want to buy something of five hundred naira, six hundred naira, and you transfer. When after the transaction of those months, they will still um, collect transaction charges, yeah, yeah, and all of that. So these are the things Nigeria is going to suffer this year. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all going to be part of it. We're all going to suffer it. Yes, going to the market to get stuffs that we need to celebrate Christmas with. Our Christmas clothes, our Christmas lights, the chicken that we need. Very important. Very, very, important. very, very important. People that are killing mm. goats and cows and all of that. Whatever thing that we need to purchase this festive period. If, let's leave uh, the, the residential people with our home, like the consumers and all of that. What about people that are going to get goods? For themselves to stock up their shop in exactly, this exactly, how are they going exactly. to cook? How are they going to cook? How are they going to cook? And they most of these um, um, stores where they get their products for most of them um, accept only cash. Only cash, because if you pay me through transfer, and I want to go and get from my other buyers, they need the raw cash. And most times, Nigerians, we don't even we have trust issues. Exactly, we have trust issues. With the, whole the bad thing. ones have corrupted the yeah, minds. Yeah, now we ones. have a lot of um, a lot of um, fake transfer um, alerts going on. And, all and most persons cannot um, differentiate between a fake transfer and an original one. So a whole lot of buzz is going to happen come this festive period. Um, people trying to assess cash, which we know is going to be very difficult. And you know, thinking, also heard that sorry to some, short, and thinking of this thing gives me the trauma from the election period where ca uh, cash was was not in circulation. We hope that that incident, doesn't happen wh at all. whatever we saw then doesn't repeat itself this period. That's exactly. what we pray for as citizens of Nigerians. We plead to all Nigerians out there for you guys to be patient with this bank and Whatever tactics that you need to get cash start it for yourself time. peacefully, you need to start from now and start getting whatever finances that you need to sort yourself throughout this festive period. Start from now and gather them. Exactly. Because come 
that 21st, like I said, down to the new year period, there's going to be a high scarcity of cash. And apart from that, we now notice that even currently, some banks are not even opening every day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. definitely. And some, some even open and dis uh, close on time. Yeah, and they tell you that there's no cash, there's no cash. Even managers, we, we see them complaining. There was an interview um, on, 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 the, on the papers where one of the managers said that it's not that they wouldn't want to give cash to their customers, but there's no cash. I still read somewhere that um, some persons that withdrew money from um, the period of September to November, they, they didn't bring it back um, to the bank. They didn't use it for transactions. They were holding it at home. Maybe scared of this same um, scenario to play out. Yeah, yeah. Nigeria, see, we are, Nigerians are proactive, very proactive people because we tend to look at we tend to look at the future and then to say that oh this is what is going to happen to predict how point, the outcome and, will be yeah, and funny enough we are business minded you, you don't be surprised these people that are coming out to get this cash and hurting them there might be pos users that would want to use it later on for business like how they did yeah. during those times and they tell you to withdraw a 1000 yeah, and pay 400 500 naira. so we, we pray such things shouldn't happen again and whatever thing that the cbn governor whatever actions he needs to take at this point in time they should do it and they should do it on time so that we as Nigerians, we are going to enjoy ourselves. We have a whole lot of things happening in this period. Exactly. So the this is the time to cool yeah, our heads. The insecurity that's happening all over the town, kidnapping and, and all of that. And Nigerians are crying with the mismanagement of funds going on in, in the government house and what they want, tend to use these funds for. So this is a time where we as Nigerians gather as family to celebrate this festive period and we wouldn't want to be in a position whereby there will be a, an, a spite of violence just because we want to get our own cash that we have deposited in banks so exactly. the government needs to look at it the cbn governor whatever actions he needs to take this is the time to take that measure so that we as nigerians can have a peaceful and wonderful christmas exactly thank you very much i'm afraid this is where we draw the curtains for the day thank you very much the football AI. Hoping to see you next time yeah, on this show definitely, again. Definitely, yeah. Exactly. And you two out there can also be a part of the show. Like I said earlier, do well to follow us on all our social media handles, like our videos, subscribe, turn on the notification button. I am Obed Jerry, your host for today. And this is Econ Bright, your football AI. And this has been the newspaper review here on Tap TV. Thank you and have a lovely weekend ahead. <laughs>